shit! No! Oh my god! No! Oh god, please. There's no police. There's no police. Help! Help me! Someone help me! Oh god! He's after me! Okay, okay. I'm gonna go to the subway. I'll go to the subway. I gotta get back! Why is this working? God damn it! Okay, okay, listen. No one's here yet. I'm gonna try and go to the police at Times Square. Again, I'm gonna go to try and go to the police at Times Square. If I don't make it, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'll be fine. I got my eyes peeled. Nobody's here yet. I don't. I think I lost him. <laughs> I ran track. How did he find me so fast? It's 2.30 a.m. I've called my parents, my brother, and my sister, and uh, nobody's picking up. Just my luck. Well, I guess I am kind of lucky considering the fact that I'm still alive right now, but... I guess that's just the way it is. I've called the police, 911 dispatcher. She uh, thought I was lying about Harold Schomer, and I told her I had the damn ID. So I just have to wait here and uh, see what's going on. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear it in the distance as a police sirens. So hopefully they're uh, they're on their way very shortly. Look, I just want to say... Whoo! You guys aren't going to believe who just called me. I'm not going to tell you who. Uh, it was going to be a surprise. And guess what? The cops also called me. They left a message. They're coming up right now. They're going to be here in two minutes. Whew! I was getting worried there for a second. <laughs> oh god, that was good. Yo. Well, you run really quick. How? <coughs> yeah, you bastard. <laughs> you even called the cops. Well, so much for the new phone. You know, the other day I was walking down Fifth Avenue and this chick comes up to me and she's like, Hey, you know what? You're pretty sexy. Do you have a six pack? Do I have a six pack? Why would I need a six pack in this day and age when people in Africa, Uganda, Nigeria, Zaire, Zambia, Middle East, Asia, Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, all those bloody areas are all starving. And then you realize, you know what? Wait a minute. All the brown people are starving. That bloody sucks. And then I just didn't say anything and I walked away. In local news, five victims have been killed by the ID collector, the most recent victim. Oh, right. 
Bookshop, with Robinson Publishing, had his book published two days after his death. Currently, it is the number one selling book in the nation. His rise to fame was aided by his online YouTube website, CatchingTheMan.com. Well, unfortunately, folks, our young mate was caught, and if you haven't seen his stuff, it was very, very good if you ask me. The young writer died during entry 21 of his blog. Coincidentally, Tom Robinson, owner of Robinson Publishing, has become the sole beneficiary of this late writer. The writers of Strange Family are trying to take this to court. Why would you do that? You didn't care about him before, and now all of a sudden you're like, whoa, whoa, we need some of your cash, sonny boy, because you're dead. Well, piss off, family. You don't deserve anything. However, papers have been signed saying that the writer has left everything to his publisher. You see that, family? You're now going to be eating Calcutta food. Rice and beans for you. Wait, that's Mexico. Excuse me. Rice and curry. That's right. Tom Robinson can't be reached for comment. Okay, people, get home safe. That news really pissed me off. I felt bad for the mate. Families, don't kill each other. Love each other. Give yourselves a hug. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Robinson Publishing. Hi, may I speak with Mr. Robinson? May I ask who's calling? No, this is a private call. Hold the line, please. This is Tom. I did what you wanted. Give me my money. <laughs> 